Okay, so uh, hello and welcome to Andy Robinson RC. Cheers for checking out the channel today. Now, we're here at Blackpool Model Show 2022 at the Norbrecht Castle in Blackpool and the doors have just opened for the second day, the Sunday. So I'm going to have a nosy around and see what's about. And uh, this caught my eye yesterday. Uh, we've got a gentleman uh, from Spalding in Lincolnshire and he's uh, selling uh, some Tammy RC kits, which always puts a smile on my face. So uh, I'm going to have a nosy. It's uh, RSC scale models. And uh, so what we've got here on the table, we've got the 20, um, is it 2020 Terra Scorcher, Super Storm Dragon, which I raced one of these at our local club. Up the 2022 Thundershot, awesome Blitzer Beetle, the uh, heavy dump truck, and, uh, the big Volvo A60H uh, 6v6 hauler, and also how cool is this? I've got my eye on this a uh, tumbling bull, which is now discontinued. So, say moving on. Plasma Edge 2 and a Dark Impact, uh, DFO3, the awesome TC01, formerly E Gen 2 car, Fight of the RX Memorial, so I'll just scan in there. There you go, there are the details for RSC scale models. So the N06 Lotus, you just have a nosy about, you can see. Let's have a scoop round. So, uh, quite a few range of Tammy kits in. <laughs> also, you don't see these anymore either. Look at that. 599 XX TAO6 chassis. So, that's Ace. And then we've got some more of the basic kits the Rising Fighter, Mercedes Benz uh, MFX01 with pre painted body. And also, we've bought some of the comical kits and the uh, expert semi-assemble kits as well which is cool classic lunchbox big scania tamiya truck kit and the td4 avante so uh that's cool good to see someone selling tamiya here excellent stuff so uh say that's rsc uh scale models from spalding in lincolnshire so we'll have a scoot around the we're in the main hall here loads of boats and things which is cool i think it shows generally there is something for everyone you know? so i mean uh, i'll admit personally um boats aren't personally my thing but you know it's good to see a nice range of things here now i'm here with the blackpool and filed radio control car club and uh, that's in the other room so i'll go do a little separate video on that later yeah, lots of awesome boats and accessories and tools and all manner of things. I mean, some of the time and effort that goes into these models is absolutely mind-blowing. You know, I mean, I spend a lot of time on my cars, but this is like a whole another level, whole another level of stuff. So, uh, cool, we've got some of the uh, scale crawlers out today. Um, there's a big scale crawler track in the other room, which I will show you later on. But come on, how cool are they? Absolutely fantastic. Yeah. And a perfect pace for filming. But, but I'll, uh, I'll take you through and you'll see the scale uh, crawler track in a bit. Okay. But well, say this this room we're in now is mainly the uh, the boat uh, the boat room, and I'm doing my best not to stand on. <laughs> and uh, I spy there. I spy another uh, cool kit, the Tamiya 90 Defender on the CC01 chassis, which is cool. There's some cool static uh, models. Look at that lovely Range Rover police vehicle and uh, Toyota BJ44 Land Cruiser. Which is cool. Lots of those stuff. There you go. Oh, this is cool as well. I had a look at this yesterday on the uh, scale crawler track. 
How awesome is that based on a <coughs> Dakar um, off-road truck? And I think the body, I believe, was all scratch-built. Lovely stuff. Also, just a fair bit of uh, 3D printing. Oh, yeah. How cool is that? Lovely stuff. Actually, I don't know. Uh, a cool Formula One car, isn't it? Fantastic. And say, so, oh, lots of fantastic boat stuff. You know. I say, so it's, it's, it's almost, almost endless. But I say, it's amazing the amount of work that goes into these things. Hoy Lake, that's, funny enough, that's right where, where my auntie lives. Hoy Lake. Uh, near Mel's on the Wirral. And it's by a little another Land Rover model there, looks like a, a brooder. Gonna we'll scoot round here. Stuff I, you know, to me this uh, this is modelling on a complete another level. Look at that. Wicked stuff. Now I, again on my brief trip yesterday, I came across this stamp here, and uh, this I think is fantastic, and um, I'm certainly tempted. Uh, these are RC hovercrafts. I didn't even know these existed until yesterday. So I came across this uh, company yesterday, and I'm s <laughs> really tempted to purchase a hovercraft for the channel. And look at that there, that's the kit price for this here. Obviously, it's quite a basic one, but still, I mean, look at that. Kit price, £35. How cool is that? That's for the basic kit, and then your thrust lift powered pack that you need to run it is an extra £34. But, is that pretty amazing? Just come around here, you can see a few more of them there. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. So, yeah, quite a. Uh, Quite fancy one of these. I did take the details as well. So about with the it's RC model hovercraft, and the company is Palaform Limited. So yeah, definitely go check them out. Well impressed by this yesterday. I know, uh, you know, got some kits with them as well. So maybe this could be a purchase for the channel. We'll have to see. But yeah, always good to see new things. So I'm going to go this way. Uh, I think at the other end that's a massive uh, tool section down there. But, I mean, look at the detail. It's mind-blowing. Absolutely mind-blowing. <laughs> Talking of hovercrafts, there's another one there. But yeah, I mean, it's fantastic. Look at that. You know. I was a motorway. Uh, motorway. Mm. Sneak through. Now, I need to find the other hauler. Oh, here we go as well. It's a um, component shopper here, selling lots of accessories that you may need batteries, tools, wires, absolutely all sorts. So, again, we'll probably have to visit here at some point and pick up some things servos, radio, get, uh, all sorts of stuff, lipo sacks. Lipo batteries, so all sorts of stuff you may need. So I say this is a component shop. Now these guys actually run the and organise the uh, the boat shows, uh, the model show, I should say as well. Yeah. And also as well, I don't know if it'll be out later on. We've got a pool here, so um, at some point the boats will be on this later. Might try and get a clip later on for you. Now what I'm going to do is now. So that's the main huge hall. I say a lot of boating stuff. Now we're going to go through to the second hall, and uh, they've got some of the uh, the big scale Tamiya trucks and scale models running in there, and some military models. And uh, I think they're making their way back through, but the the, the crawler track is through here as well. So I'm going to race the truck now, see if I can get through before I get to the door. <laughs> Ta -da. And here we are into the other room. So we've got here uh, Hooton Park RC trucks. And again, uh, these models have got some incredible detail. 
and a lot of time and effort goes into these. So again, you'll, these will be running around the uh, the display that they've built today. But look at again, look at the detail that's been put into these. Again, mind blowing. Now, I was speaking to a gentleman on this stand yesterday, which is a Ribble Valley Radio Controlled Truck Club. Now, funny enough, they share the same hall at Ribble Valley in Leyland, where I race one-tenth buggies, which is cool. Um, but this is theirs. Now, all these models are fully working, although they often display them as static models. <laughs> but no, again, you know, the detail is incredible. You know, I mean, fantastic stuff. You only use the clutch on a matador Look at that. I mean, you know, I mean, I've got some scale scale stuff, but this is on another level. I say a lot of time. I keep on saying it, but it's true. A lot of time and effort goes into these, and they just look amazing. Absolutely amazing. There you go, if you can't see it, that is their logo there, Ribble Valley Radio Control Truck Club. <laughs> and uh, because we're near Blackpool, there's even Blackpool Towers. And uh, obviously because I'm obsessed with Land Rovers, I've got a little 90 Defender there. As well, obviously it's a later Defender because it's got the bump on the bonnet. Look at that. Fantastic stuff. Cool, I'll, I'll put that in my video. So I probably just heard it anyway, but yeah, I'll put a link to the uh, club in the video as well. But yeah, super stuff. All the front ones are scratch built. Yeah. They're on. Tr uh, Kits, all the back ones. Are those are the at the back then? Are they off from the Tamiya kits then, or are they? No, it's, a, it's a company called Wedico. Wedico. 16th, uh, 16th scale. Right. Tamiya. One, are they 114 for Tamiya? Really? Tamiya's 14. Yeah. All metal That's is the right. Wedico ones. Right, no. But they're still a kit. Yeah. No, it's uh, fantastic stuff. It's, uh, it's great to see it as well. Because I've never got up to Leyland when it's got the truck club on. I'm always there the night before or something. Mm. So it's good to see uh, It's good to see what you're doing as well. Excellent stuff. Thank you very much. Oh, yeah, it was, uh... so, business. Yeah. Selling accessories. There you go. You look close up, look, you see the tiny little magazines. I love I love little scale details like that, it's fantastic. Now if I sort of stand here, you can just see, start to see some of the trucks moving about. So again, I'm guessing these are probably a mixture of Tamiya, Wideco, and say Wedico. But, uh, fantastic stuff. Let's see if we can uh, Zoom in a bit. Look at that, how cool is that? Sorry if my hand is a little shaky, but it certainly looks cool. And complete with lights and sound box as well. Super stuff. Lovely, absolutely beautiful. Carol. Again, the detail's amazing. Let's go scoop round here. Now, this was, I was telling you when I was in the other room, uh, this is North Wales Cheshire and Northwest Scale and Crawler Group, as Jim Banner will tell you there. So, they've brought along uh, one of the, well, a scale uh, crawler track. So, um, there should be some rigs going round. In fact, there's one here now. Now I believe, I'm being told yesterday, that that is a new short wheel wheelbase MST with the Suzuki chimney body on. So I'll just zoom out a minute. 
There we go, and uh, can follow that round a little bit. Uh, a fair few different rigs they've brought down with them from uh, Traxxas, MST, Axel. from it at all, it's so quiet and controlled. Fantastic stuff. So if we move down the line a little bit, you can see again, Stan's put on a, a really good uh, collection of vehicles and a nice uh, display as well, which is good. He's now going over the, uh, the big arch. take you to the other room and we'll have a look at um, what's going on in the room where I am with the local clubs but uh, I'm just going to watch this Rubicon on the straps the strap bridge Here, they've done it first time, no problems. <laughs> so, yeah, lots of cool stuff, and I could actually, honest, I could sit and watch this all day. So, as again, um, this is North Wales, Cheshire, and Northwest RC scale and crawler group. Go and check them out. But yeah, they've put on a fantastic uh, display. Also, I did notice yesterday, chap at the back, brand new TR. TRX 6x6 six tracks is hauler there, which is cool. And let's go around again. Tank and military vehicle group. Lots of, uh, again, cool stuff. Anyway, um, I did hopefully not want to make a really, 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 really long video. But um, we're going to quickly walk through now. And uh, we're going to go to uh, check out, see what the... Uh, Blackpool Oval Racing Group are doing, and the other clubs as well. So, I'm going to go through. Sorry, Jen. Thank you. So, we are down here in this uh, side room, and here we go. Northwest Nitro are here as well. Uh, so, if we're coming in here. And here we go, this is the other room where we've got some uh, more live demoing. Well, this is uh, Northwest Nitro. 
some of the uh, the one eight scale e buggies and nitro uh, buggies and truggies. Yeah, he's not got any cages around. There's the details for it, you can find them on websites, on Facebook, and there's the uh, email for them as well. well that's Northwest Nitro. Now, the cool thing about all these Blackpool clubs are, we are literally within about two or three miles from each other. So there's three clubs in Blackpool, and they all cater for uh, different styles of racing. You've got the Blackpool Club, now we do one tenth in a variety of classes. So we've got uh, vintage buggies, touring and rally, hoppers, uh, hot hatch. So we've got lots going on. So, there you go. And also here, uh, we're, is a, um, this is uh, Blackpool Oval Racing Club. A couple of track, uh, cars on track in a minute. I was saying, the um, new club has been only going for a few months now. But massive membership following now. Uh, twice a month they run. And uh, I say they do the um, F2 stock cars, alloy bangers, ABS bangers, which you can see here now. But yeah, got, this is, I say, this is Blackpool Global Racing Club. Very noisy as well. <laughs> There you go, you can see the details from there. So, yeah, so I'll just nip back out a minute because it's very loud. So, uh, that wraps it up for this one, really. So, um, I'll leave this video here. So, um, okay. So cheers for checking this one out. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the channel. It'd be much appreciated. Um, and yeah, come and find us on Facebook and Instagram under Andy Robinson RC. Look after yourselves, take care. And uh, we'll see you on a video very soon. Take care and see you later.